Prepare to be moved by Padre Pio's extraordinary love and care for his spiritual daughters. Through reflections from Padre Pio's biographer, you'll gain a new perspective on the true essence of parental love and the sacrifices it entails. Stay tuned for these inspiring insights. Welcome to Following Padre Pio. Whether you're a returning viewer or new to our channel, we're excited to have you with us. Padre Pio, a Capuchin friar, mystic, and a miracle worker, continues to inspire and intercede in powerful ways today. Join us as we share new videos and shorts five days a week, diving into the extraordinary life and miracles of this beloved saint. Discover how Padre Pio's legacy can touch your life and the life of your loved ones. Subscribe now and let's embark on this spiritual journey together. And now to today's story. Today's story is sourced from the book, Padre Pio, A Saint Among Us by Renzo Allegri. Within its pages, Allegri delves into the unique and heartfelt relationship Padre Pio had with his spiritual daughters. Now, this profound love also extended to his spiritual sons, but Allegri focuses on the daughters because the initial group seeking Padre Pio's guidance was mostly composed of women. As we explore these insights, you might find yourself learning something new about the true essence of parental love. So let's dive right in. Padre Pio's connection with these young women was neither artificial nor abstract, says Allegri. He calls them daughters and meant it in the truest sense. A father loves his daughters, suffers for them, and strives for their well-being. Padre Pio was a true father, loving his daughters with all his heart. I love my spiritual children as much as my own soul and even more. To some, he would say, you cost me blood. Now, what I believe this phrase meant to symbolize was the penance Padre Pio endured for his spiritual daughters. As many of you watching are already aware, Padre Pio willingly suffered for the spiritual and even bodily health of others. He was in fact called to this by our Lord Jesus Christ. This phrase, you cost me blood, truly exemplifies his paternal care for them. This brings to mind a biblical phrase from John chapter 15 verse 13. There is no greater love than to lay down one's life for one's friends which highlights the sacrificial nature of true love, demanding profound selflessness. And, as Renzo Allegri himself put it, whoever suffers for a person is bound to them forever. Furthermore, Allegri shares that Padre Pio had an extraordinary affection for all of them, but he explains that this was not a sugary, superficial feeling. Rather, it was a profound, solid, and responsible feeling, always oriented towards the ultimate reality of eternal life. In other words, he was always concerned about their salvation, as a parent should be. He loved not romantically, intoxicated by his own feelings, but with a pure and fatherly love. However, this is not to say he never showed any signs of tenderness. An example of this tender love can be seen in a simple yet meaningful gesture he made towards Mary Pyle, an American lady who left everything to be near Padre Pio. Listen to this. One summer morning in the 1920s, as Mary Pyle was leaving the church, Padre Pio, who suffered greatly from the heat, called out to her from the shade of an old elm tree in the churchyard. When she approached, he handed her a four-leaf clover he had picked at the foot of the tree. Deeply moved, Maria accepted the little plant and later confined it to a friend. Today is the most beautiful day of my life. The dried four-leaf clover was found in Mary Paul's missile when she died in 1968, showing how much she cherished this simple yet heartfelt gesture. If you've been moved by Padre Pio's profound love and care for souls and want to deepen your connection to Padre Pio while helping us keep this channel alive, please consider joining our Protected Children of Padre Pio program. Padre Pio promised 
that he will do even more after his death, and this channel is dedicated to spreading awareness about our great saint to the world. By supporting us in this mission, you deepen your connection to his legacy and thus become a Padre Pio Apostle. As a member, you will also receive special benefits, such as Masses celebrated regularly for your intentions. To learn more about how you can join and make a positive difference in the world, please click the link in the description below. In conclusion, Renzo Allegri's reflections remind us of how deeply Padre Pio cared for his spiritual children. Regarding the letters that Padre Pio sent to his spiritual daughters, one finds him affectionate, understanding, sweet and caring. These letters, filled with genuine love and concern, offer a glimpse into the profound and selfless love that defined Padre Pio's relationships, leaving us with a lasting example of what it means to truly care for others. As Renzo Allegri beautifully expressed regarding Padre Pio's correspondences, one always feels, between the lines, a true heart beating. Thank you so much for watching. Your support means the world to us. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and share it with your friends. This simple action helps our channel grow and reach more people who love Padre Pio as much as you do. We have more inspiring Padre Pio stories and reflections waiting for you. Check out the specially recommended videos on the end screen or click the links in the description below for our full selection of great content, including our Padre Pio Thoughts for the Day playlist. And don't forget, you can also enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. The link is in the description below. Thank you for being a part of our community and stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.